Hello everyone and good Friday afternoon. Thought I'd do a quick video update for you on today's weather and what we can expect this evening and heading into the overnight. It's a hazy, hot and humid day here in the Youngstown area. We have uh, just a few fair weather clouds around downtown. Same idea up in Niles. Some haze, some clouds, some sun. It is hot and it is humid. Check out these dew points. Just like yesterday, feels like Miami. We have dew points around 70 in Columbia and a 72 in Austin Town. 75 in Sandy Lake and 69 in Newcastle this afternoon. Factory in temperatures in the 80s. Here's what you have for the heat index. 88 is what it feels like in Sharon. 90 in Boardman. 92 in Mercer. So it's a, it's a day to stay hydrated. Take frequent breaks if you need to exert yourself outdoors for more than a few minutes. Uh, make sure the pets are not outside for a long period of time. And make sure that uh, your elderly friends, relatives, and neighbors are, are doing okay. Uh, Things are quiet weather-wise other than the heat. A couple of showers up in Crawford County and PA. Otherwise, not much, and I'm not expecting much through the rest of the daylight hours. I'll show you the, the future cast radar in just a second. It's a whole different story off to the south. Look at these nasty storms along the Ohio River. Southern Ohio into Kentucky, heading towards West Virginia. Just what they don't need in West Virginia, where they've had a lot of flooding problems lately. Severe thunderstorm watches out for the southern tier of counties in Ohio and down into Kentucky and over towards Charleston, West Virginia, until 6. Another severe thunderstorm watch up in Michigan, including the Detroit area, also in effect until 6 o'clock this evening. The Storm Prediction Center does have a moderate risk up in Michigan in that uh, kind of darker color. We're in the yellow color, color here. That means slight risk. I think our risk for severe weather is quite a bit lower than our neighbors to the north and to the south as well. Here's our high-resolution futurecast model. You want to get outside the rest of the afternoon? I can't rule out a pop-up shower or even a thunder shower, but it's like a 10 to 20 percent chance kind of a thing. A lot of us will see nothing until later on this evening. When I go on the air tonight on 21 News at 11, I'm expecting the radar to be fairly active, but this is coming at an unfavorable time of the day, and while there could be some thunder with this, I think the odds of severe weather overall are not that high. They're not zero, but not that high, and then those showers and storms are long gone by two or three in the morning. So. Overall, our, our number one potential impact from any storms this evening would be wind damage, but again, the chance is small, and our window is, generally speaking, maybe as early as 9, but more so 10, 11, into about uh, midnight tonight. Much more on weather for Weather Geeks this evening and on 21 News at both 6 and 11. You can watch Weather Geeks on your Storm Tracker 21 app on wfmj.com slash weather, and of course my weather blog, it's ericwfmj.com. Have a good rest of this Friday.